Every teenager knows the agony and exhilaration of one particular day. No, it's not prom, it's not the day you get braces off either. Instead, it is the day you get your ticket to adulthood and freedom. The day you take your driver's ed test. I had waited for this day for a long time, and I was ready, ready to get that three and a half inch plastic rectangle in my hand. I walked out confidently to that parking lot where my driver's ed teacher was waiting next to the driver's ed car. He had his clipboard and his pen poised in his hand. He also had on a gray polo shirt with sweaty armpits and a pair of large glasses above what could be called a Hitler mustache. This was Mr. Zulkowski, also known as the Chicken Man. Now we called him the Chicken Man for one reason. That was because he had been our PE teacher in second grade, and he made us do a workout called Chicken Fat. <laughs> I see some of you nodding your head. <laughs> oh yes, Chicken Fat. And if you don't know what it is, go YouTube. <laughs> That's why we called Mr. Zokoski the Chicken Man. So, Miss Dons, said Mr. Zokoski, you're ready to take your driver's license or test. Hmm? I said, I was so nervous, but so ready. I was ready to do the gem state proud. All right then, said Mr. Zolkowski, handing me the keys to the car. Let's get it over with. I climbed to the car and the chicken man slid in a shotgun. I started the engine and we glided out of the parking lot as smooth as a swan on water. I hoped Mr. Zolkowski was impressed with my expertise. Sure enough, he marked something up on his clipboard. All right, Miss Dobbs, he said. You have shown me you can handle normal roads. Now let's see about rocky terrain. Uh, rocky terrain, I asked. Yes, said Mr. Zolkowski. Straight ahead, please. I looked to where Mr. Zolkowski was pointing. And I could just see the words on an orange sign that read, Blasting Zone Ahead. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Zolkowski, I said, should I take a detour? Mr. Zolkowski let a nasal out. <laughs> uh, how do you expect me to grade you on a detour? Straight ahead, please. Well, there was no time to argue. We were headed straight for it. I could see the orange cone, see the unfinished asphalt, see the orange and white barricade. There was no time to turn around. Crash! We went straight through the barricade and into the blasting zone, cones scattering in our wake. And the train was rocky all right. Mr. Zolkowski and I were almost thrown out of the car as we bumped along the uneven terrain. Keep both eyes on the side of the road at all times, said Mr. Zolkowski as we bumped along the road, his glasses flying off his face. And then, that's when the blasting occurred. Boom! A detonation went on off our left. Boom! Another nearly capsized the car. Please avoid the blast, said Mr. Zolkowski, as if I needed to know that. <laughs> well, miraculously, we somehow made it out of the blasting zone and on to normal road again. My knuckles were chalk white, but Mr. Zolkowski looked unfazed. He simply put his glasses back on and said, Very good. Now then, let's see your adaptability skills. Turn here, please. I spun the wheel to the left and we careened around the corner, narrowly missing a pedestrian. I was still a little on edge from the last part of the test. Okay, okay, I said. Now what? Now, said Mr. Zolkowski, you'll need to adapt. And that's when I realized something was wrong. Because the cars weren't driving with me, they were driving straight at me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zulkowski, is this a one-way street? Yes. Mr. Zulkowski, this was not in the driver's ed manual. But apparently the chicken man didn't care. He just looked on as an SUV came barreling towards us, and I swerved just in time, missing it by an inch. Very good, said Mr. Zulkowski. <laughs> then another car was headed our way. A school bus, to be precise. And this time, there was a Volkswagen on the right, and a Corvette on the left. Meaning, there was nowhere to swerve and nowhere to go except straight at the bus full of school children. <laughs> Mr. Zolkowski, I screamed, I can't do this! Mr. Zolkowski looked at me and he said, is that so, Miss Dawn? Does that mean you're chicken? <laughs>
me? Chicken? Maybe it was the fact that it came from that chicken man, but that made my blood boil. And as I felt my heart start to hammer, I knew what was about to happen. And I turned to the chicken man and I said, Don't you ever call me chicken. I gunned it. The bus blared its horn, but I didn't stop. Then, just as we were about to collide head on, I spun the wheel so hard and so fast that the driver's head car rolled over onto its side. There was a shower of sparks of the metal on asphalt, but the car had enough momentum that it didn't stop. It slid like a snake right between the Corvette and the bus, and I could see the school children pointing. <laughs> and I just said, stay in school, kids. <laughs> and the next moment, we had emerged on the other side of the bus, me twisting the wheel back so we were again upright. How was that? I said. It was pretty good. So Mr. Zokoski. Anyway, the test is over. Oh, we're not done yet, I said. And then he heard it too. The sound of police sirens coming our way. You in the mood for a car chase, Mr. Zokoski? I asked. Mr. Zokoski shrugged his shoulders. Well, I suppose. For a few bonus points. <laughs> Well, the car chase went pretty well, until the car ran out of gas. And then the police caught up to us, and they weren't too happy. But when they found it was my driver's test, they just smiled and nodded and let me off with a warning. <laughs> I turned to my driver's ed teacher. So, did I pass? I asked him. Mr. Zolkowski consulted his notes. Then he stuck out his hand. Miss Dodds, welcome to the road. Thank <laughs> you.